video now then this video here is about electrical wiring I'm going to show you the basics of switches and motion sensors so easy this is for the beginner in no man's sky there's going to be a lot of people on this channel who already know this but this video is for the beginners so that they actually know how to do it now there's various ways of actually doing this so I'm going to step into it um, in this video I'm probably try not to uh, I'll try and make it as fluent as I can. Uh, I do gameplay videos, so... Oh, God, look at the drop on that. Oh, good grief. Look at that. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm not going down there. Okay, so we're doing it on the same bit that we did the... Um, the, the... The slope with the balls on it. Uh, if this sentinel would, uh, would go away. Okay, so what we'll do is... We'll put up a... A demo wall i'm going to put a timber wall up you can put any type of wall up you want but i'm going to put a timber wall up to show you the switches and what they actually do and we're going to place a light okay so we'll place a light as a, a starting demo and then i'll just wire it up so i'll put a, a red light up here in the middle just here and then i'll go through it step by step so we're going to do a few of these demos okay and it it will be quite straightforward so we need a power source so basically i'm going to use a solar panel and a battery and i'll be using this one power pack for all of them so here we go so i'll place this down now the solar panel and then i'll place the battery down right and then we'll wire it up like we usually do so we're going to go from battery to solar panel just like that uh, and it went there yep problem with this planet is it's got long grass so you can't really see the wire which is a bit of a shame you can't never see it but it should do it's still night time so I picked the right time to do the video haven't I so <laughs> so what I'll do is and the game freezes from time to time so what I'll do is like I've done before on a previous video I'll put up one of these it's called a biofuel reactor and you'll get quite a lot of these and the game is frozen again so <laughs> Come on, hello games, please fix the game. Um, and then I will go into the wire, okay? So what you need to do is, I'm going to wire this up to this battery here. So this will charge this battery whilst charge, get whatever I'm hooking up to it done. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to fuel the bio furnace, or bio reactor, with a bit of carbon. So you can press if you're on playstation like i'm you can press down on the d-pad it will take out what you don't need and put in what you do need like that so there we go we've currently got 12 minutes of power on that thing plenty of time so i'm going to have a look at my solar panel i'm going to see how much daylight we've got so <clears throat> daylight uh, dark hours remaining four minutes so and then that should start charging up but in the meantime, we're going to do this. So what we'll do is we'll put a switch up to start with. A switch will basically have two ends. So when you place it down, place it any which way you want. I usually have it that way. I normally run a wire from, to make it easy for this demo, I run a wire from that side to the battery And then I'll run a wire from that side to the light. Okay, now you can see the light has switched on. So what this does is it isolates the current from the battery to the light. So when you toggle it, it switches the light off. As you can see to the right hand side, the line is still blue, meaning there's power going through it. But when you switch this, it brings the power back on. As simple as that, as easy as that, okay? So that is how to turn items on and off with a switch. Quite straightforward, isn't it? That's, a, that's quite an easy build, that one. So what we'll do now is I'll delete that, and then we'll do a motion sensor. But with a motion sensor, it's a little bit more complicated. Get this right, and then I'll delete that power cable. So the vaulted things with the build menu, haven't they? on this you were uh, you delete with 
on PlayStation, you bleat, delete with the square, and then once you've done it again, you have to delete with a circle. I can't find the logic in that, to be honest. I don't know about you. Then you have to do it again. And sometimes you miss, and you get the object behind it, and then you have to start the entire build again, which is a bit of a flaw. Anyway, enough of me moaning about this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that. I shouldn't have deleted that light, should I? I'll put a green one up this time. So... What we'll do is we'll do the same thing but with the green light, okay? So what we need to do is we need to do the same thing but we need a different... Well, we'll need something called a power inverter. So you place the power inverter like this. I'll see if I can get closer so you can see it. You need to create the place the power inverter on the wall in that format where you can see one on the left, one on the right, one at the bottom. Okay? So you place that there like that. The second thing you need to place is your proximity switch, which will go on the bottom. But what I do is I rotate the proximity switch, switch so it's vertical. So there's one at the top, one at the bottom. doesn't matter how you get it, as long as it's round about this. Okay, so what we need to do now is place that down, and then we need to get our wires going. So... If you look here, to the right-hand side, this one here goes directly to the battery. This wire. So, we need to try and connect it to the battery. Like that. And then to here. The next wire I put, which I've done them a bit close, actually. Really close. I might just quickly, while I'm here... Because I made an error, you know me, I make errors in these, 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 these ones. I'll get this one, where are we, the proximity switch, and lower it down a bit, because I think it was a bit close. So I'll lower it down to about there, and then I'll turn it, like this. Okay, so then we get our wire again. So we get our electrical wire, and we run the electrical wire from the base of the inverter down to the proximity switch like that the bottom of the proximity switch over to the battery like that and then your last one which is this side over to the light like that come out the build menu so there you go as I've moved away the light switch has gone on as I come close it's gone off like that. You can alternate them by turning that upside down and what will happen is this side will go to the battery and that side would go to the light switch and it would do the opposite way around. So when you walk up to it the light will come on instead of going off. Like that. Can you see what I mean? So that's pretty good though, isn't it? It's a nice little circuit. Easy to remember. Very straightforward. So we'll get a new pane now. And we'll do something else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do mechanized doors. Now, currently with the, re the this recent build menu, um, you can only do this with the last one, which are the, the original building materials. You can't do it with these. You can't put a door on these because it doesn't work. So something else Hello Games needs to fix. So I'm going to put this wooden wall here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the, this one I think it is. Yes, it is. Then we're going to go to door. So we can place a door down now. Place that door onto that wall, which you can see it opens up like that. So we're going to do the same thing as what we did with the previous one, with the, uh, with the, um, uh, the proximity. So when you walk up to a door, a door will open. A lot of people like this. A lot of people think it's cool in the game. And not many people have shown how this is actually done. So what we need to do is we need to do exactly the same with the power inverter. What this will do is when I go away from the door, it will lock. And when I go up close, it will open. So we'll place the power inverter on the wall. It doesn't matter where you place it. So I'll place it up here like this. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it pretty quick now. So, and then we do the same with this one. 
So we bring it down to a good distance. Place it on the wall. So what I'm going to do now is, if you can remember how I did it, I'm going to wire the centre ones up first because that's the easiest one down to there. But this time I'm going to make it a little bit easier. So on the floor or somewhere, I might, uh, I don't know if I can do it. I can't do it on this floor because it's, uh, normally if you have a base, you'll have flooring. So if I place a floor panel down here like this, I'll give you a little handy hint of what to do with this. So you go into, it makes things a lot easier. So if you go in, you can create a junction with your wires. So you basically you create a long line like this. You drop your wire on and you create that. So what happens is, instead of you having to stretch your wire all the way over to that battery over there, then what you do is you, you wire this side here to this junction right here. And then you wire this junction as well, the same one like that and then you wire this one this is this is important guys it needs to be wired to the inside one not this side there's one at this side as well at the back here not that one you want it to go to the outer one you can see the two circles can't you this needs to go to the outer one so when it, when it green states and it goes strange like this it needs to be wired to there Okay, so we'll have a look at that circuit before I power it on. So I've got to keep in the build menu so you can see it. So we've got the power from the t from the from the right hand side, and the bottom going to the power. We've got the inverter and the proximity switch joined in the middle, and we've got the left hand side of the power inverter going to the outer door, like that. So if you can remember that, take a screenshot of it. This is how you power the doors. Watch me, knowing my luck, it won't work. Uh, and then, what we need to do is we need to connect this up to the battery. So now, that door is closed because I'm away from it. But when I walk up to the door, the door opens. I'll walk away, try to walk away. Closes. Watch the sensor come on. Opens. And that is basically what you, what you do with that one. So we'll do it one last time with this one. But we're going to do this one a different way. And this is what I use on a lot of my bases. I use these. So if you want to follow these steps, what I do, very, very carefully, you can use this with the normal building parts, is an, a power door. I use these all the time in my bases. I think they're amazing. So if you place a power door down, we do exactly the same process. What I'm going to do is make sure it's in snap mode because I need somewhere to put this this, uh, this panel. So I'll put it right next to it there. So I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to do it quickly so you guys can watch. So what I'll do now is we've got the joining over there on that, that, that thing so we can use that to power it. I'm going to go over and get the... I'm going to do a simple one. This will be the power switch for this one. And it is a very simple method that you can place on any of these power doors on a base. Same again, wire. We'll start with the, the door. You place this one on the nearest one, not the outer one. The nearest side. This one here, can you see it changed? There. You place it there. This one here will place on the battery. Can you see how simple that is? And then... I'll wire it to that one. Watch what happens. So now that's closed. But I'll keep the wires on to show you the interaction. Well, I can't. I've got to take it off, actually. The wires are on anyway. So I'll press this. Watch what happens. So you can use the switch here to power that. But there's something even cooler. Okay. There's something even cooler about this. You're thinking, oh, well, I can just only do it with one. Well, no, you can't. You can do it with various. So if I place the light, say, for instance, up on the top here, well, not necessarily on the top there, I'll place a, a <coughs> one of those there, and then what I'll do is all you need to do here, and you'll need to create a separate wire to do this because it's a separate device that's going to be added. 
all you do is you create a wire from that down to that to the outer so can you remember can you see the blue one there where it shows you it going up to the door the top of the door it, it goes on the same line as that one so you press this like this now the light has come on so when I press this switch here the door will open and the light will go off it's a great little effect on a base to tell people that a door is open if I can click on it if it lets me watch the lights gone off doors opened so I'll click it and move away light has gone on door is closed so that's telling everybody that door is closed so there you go guys it is so simple isn't it switches and sensors so easy so if you want me to do another wiring tutorial to explain how to do the other ones like the the floor pads and everything like that please let me know in the comments please all by means let me let me know you can create um corridor sensors where you place one of these i don't know if i can do it here i might be able to i could show you you don't need an inverter so as soon as you basically walk in front of the the beam the light will turn on turn off that's fantastic for flooring so if you put two on the floor say for instance like this i can't do it here because i haven't set it up so two red lights on the floor I did this with a portal base, you know, uh, a portal opening. And I did this, so when you came through the portal, different aspects of the floor lit up when I walked down. So as I walked down the trail, the uh, the lit up. So I can't do it here because I haven't got it wired up to a sensor, but I could. I could do it in this video. Shall I do it in this video and see what happens? Been a while since I've done one of these. But yes, it's. I did this and I wired these two together like this and I didn't wire it to the mains and what I did was I did the same principle as I did with the the inverter and I placed the inverter on the floor under the floor so you got a floor above this with these lights on this is only a demonstration to show you what actually happens so basically you put this you put the inverter and the sensor under the floor and then you wire it to the lights above so I'll place the sensor a bit away I'll place it over here it would, it's it's not uh, not in the way there so I'll place it there so you can place the sensor anywhere you want so remember what I said about the 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 connection to the line so what I'll do is I'll connect the base of it up to this joining here and then I will connect that part to here and then I'm going to connect this part to the lights and then I'm going to connect the top part, which it looks complicated, I know, but watch what happens. And this here will get connected to the top part. Like that. So hopefully that's created a circuit. So as I've walked away now, those lights have come on. But as soon as I walk close to it, the lights will go off. And then come out the sensor beam, the lights go on. So it's good to watch. If you watch that power line... The top power line you'll see it's in red watch that go to a different color and then the bottom ones change can you see basically you've created a circuit can you see it's quite straightforward so what you're doing is you're turning those lights on and off when somebody walks towards it so you could have them in a big long line all lit up and then when somebody walks through a terminus they could all switch off as they're walking along and as they move away from that center they'll switch back on behind them that is an absolutely fantastic idea for base isn't it good ideas isn't it and it's not just that it's not just that it goes even further if i went for instance and i put one of these down so this video is going on a bit i know but it's get i'm, I'm trying to explain how many different things you can wire through these circuits so what we're going to do is we're getting to an even complicated one now. So what we'll do is we'll wire this one up to the lights on the floor. So basically to the terminus here. And then what we need to do is we need to, I'm getting confused myself now. <laughs> so we need to wire it to this side, I think, to the, to the left-hand side. So that terminus will stay off. Okay, so as soon as I walk away from that center, 
it'll turn on. Can you see the lights go on as well? Then the lights go off. That's how that works. Fantastic, isn't it? Circuit. So basically, you can control everything. If I would have changed that side there to that side and reverse them around, when I walked up to it, the lights would have come on and the, the terminus would have come on. Amazing, isn't it? Right then. Well, there you go, guys. That's been a bit of a long one, hasn't it? I do apologize. Come out of that menu. That basically is how you do electrical circuits. You can do them, you can do them a lot better in other ways. Uh, but this is a really good way of doing it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. It's a bit of an electrical tutorial for you. And some, a lot of people said in the, the recent poll that I did, they want me to show you some building things. So I'll do that. And my God, why are my legs shaking like that? It's weird, isn't it? They're going to stop shaking now. Oh, there they go. Shaking away. Okay, back to it then. So that's how you do electrical tutorial. That's how you do, uh, not electrical tutorials. That's how you do electrical wiring. And that's how you create circuits, different circuits to power different things in your base. Well, I hope that helped you guys. I really do. I, it's just a little handy hint for you. So it just makes things light up a lot better in your base. So there you go, guys. And open doors for you. Thanks very much for watching the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.